So this is inside, <laughs> looking at the front there. And yeah, 1973, man. It's 1973. So uh, we got some work to do, carpet. We're gonna leave most of 1973 stuff, except for the toilets and, and the surrounds. But this is our living room and it's plenty big. And then coming out here, this is, oh, hang on a second. Let me turn the lights on in there. All right, so, so this is the dining area. It's got a fireplace, we got a sliding glass door. It is a mess out there right now because uh, we had to have them dig up the uh, um, sewer line and everything, but, and it's winter time, so it kind of looks like crap, but, um, so, uh, whoever thought carpeting the kitchen was a great idea, I don't know. So we're going to put uh, linoleum in the kitchen and the bathrooms, because the bathrooms are carpeted in 73 too. Bad idea. Uh, we'll put new carpet in here too, but um, so get some light in here. Um, so uh, we just bought, bought a new refrigerator and a new stove. That's not the new stove. It's still in a box out in the garage. A ton of cabinet space a ton of cabinet space so they obviously had a lot smaller refrigerators back then but this one here is actually like one of the smallest ones we decided to do this because it's either that or we'd end up having to remodel the cabinets and they really didn't want to and uh, we've got a really big chest freezer that'll go down in the basement and we're taking our big 21 cubic foot uh, refrigerator freezer with us and that's going out in the garage so um, there's no reason to have a big one in here so so this and there's another door it goes out into the back area and that's where you can see everything's all tore up right now uh, this is our neighbor with the children they have a swimming pool and then there's donna's place over there and she's 94 years old and real sweetheart told us all about everybody and it's this door or the door going down to the basement so that's what's down there, which you already saw. Uh, door out to the garage. Lots and lots of cabinets. So remember I was telling you about the vacuum system. So that's what it looks like. Lift that up and when you put that thing in there, it pushes this little button in and it causes the uh, vacuum to, um, to come on. So but they had a file cabinet there. But tons of storage they were gun people we know that because <laughs> well um then this is the laundry room so gas heat uh gas stove gas water heater lots and lots of cabinets and lots of bathrooms so we have three bathrooms which is going to be like Fantastic. So this one is the avocado green, 1973. And this is out to the garage. So really nice oversized two car garage. I mean, there's a ton of room in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is got the shop over there, but I think I'm gonna probably put all my mechanic tools in here. It's a, it's a concrete floor shop over there too, but I suspect I'm probably using that more for all my woodwork and leather work and all that other stuff. You know, I might do some, some auto mechanics over there, but I think, you know, if I'm working on there's a routine things, I'll probably do it here. So, um, I don't know. We'll have to see. There's three new toilets uh, that'll go in and then there's a new stove. Put that in and then all right, so that's this side of the house. Then we come down this way, and this is where all the bedrooms are. So um, they painted the wall this light minty green to match the green shag carpet. Shag, baby, shag. Um, kind of nice, all the closets got lights in them. Um, I just put up smoke detectors in all of the rooms. Put a carbon monoxide detector up there, and I'm gonna go on ahead and pick up a couple of more. Um, so this one here is the um, 
yellow, whatever, I can't remember what they call it. It's not avocado. It's not burnt orange. It's whatever the other yellow, yellowish color was. Almond, I think is what they call this. So almond everything. Um, I said berry 73. So all you classmates of mine, remember your mom and dad's place looked like this, right? So I think we are going to put in a shower in this. I'm kind of surprised this one didn't have one, but um, this one's got a regular tub instead. Um, the other two are, are walk-in showers. So um, I'm probably going to go ahead and just install a shower in there and put a surround in it. I'm, I, I dig this retro stuff. I will say that. The only one I don't dig on is bathroom number three. So you know, this has a, it also has a you know, linen closet here. Um, this is bedroom number two and um, the, this has a kind of a brownish colored deep shag and the walls kind of have that hue to it whoever was here was into whatever festive like garland thing that stuff is um but again in the closets all all have lights in it they even left those an exercise thing i sit there and pedal away so and they left us encyclopedias and all sorts of other like reading material in case we don't have anything to read. This is the master bedroom. So um, this one, um, I haven't replaced bulbs in. The other ones I replaced with LEDs. This one here, I'm gonna do LEDs on this too and, and get brighter ones than what they have, the old old school ones here. But it's a blue carpet, um, it's well worn out, but um, and what I really like about these bedrooms back here is that the windows are way up there. So, you know, it's like you can walk around in here and you ain't got to worry about the neighbors being able to look in. Uh, and the closet's in here. This one has two in it because it's the master. So, uh, have two. And then this one has its own private bathroom. All right, prepare yourselves. This is going to be ugly. Yep, turquoise. I really don't mind the blue wallpaper. I don't mind the wallpaper in here. I actually kind of dig it. This turquoise though, man, we got to talk about this shit. Ugh. I, I don't even know where to begin. This has got to go. I can put up with avocado. I can put up with that almond. Uh, man, yeah. This is a different kind of thing altogether. And these are still the original bathrooms from 73 and you can tell the carpet is too. This is why you don't put carpet around a shitter. Like, who thought that was a good idea? So, but these are still the big super giant five gallons of flush and like 10 gallons in the bowl. And um, yeah, these are gonna go away. I saw these for sale on eBay for $600. People take these. I was talking to our real estate agent. He's like, yeah, he goes, there's a market for them. Because what people do is they take these and you can retrofit them and you put a thing down inside the tank and then you hook the water line up to that thing and what it does and it power flushes down through there. So you get the retro look, but you're not sitting there pumping out five gallons every time you flush the toilet. So, um, yeah, people pay a lot of money for these things if they're in good shape. And these ones here are like almost spotless, which is kind of mind-blowing when you consider that they're 50 years old. So, but, um, try to clean this stuff up so at least we can use it until we get around to replacing it. So, all of these windows are all like the crank-out windows, which are kind of nice, other than they're from 1973, so they're not very efficient. So... Um, it's going to cost us some money to replace them, but yeah, we'll replace them, we're going to. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the 50 cent tour. So now you see what the inside of inside of our house looks like. So, and uh, yeah, so I think that's about it. Thank you for looking.